Okay, number four, this is a quick one, a buzz through this. The time and money energy saver in this is burst training. So fitness, we all know that the body's supposed to move. Um, how we, t we teach it in the three T's, max T3, which is you wanna work, you wanna work out for a short amount of time, but it needs to be highly intense. And so we talk about 20 on and 20 off cycles. So I'll give you an example. And normally I have people do this, but I don't think I'm gonna do that to you guys. Okay, so say it's jumping jacks. You're gonna start and you're gonna go 20 seconds. Now when you do them, you're not doing this. You're doing this. as fast and as high intensity as you can because you gotta spike your heart rate. So the point of this first, these, these ons, so jumping jacks, this is your rest. Rest, jumping jacks. So this would be one cycle, rest, and then you do it again, but switch your exercise. So this might be run in place. And you know, it's just as fast as you can, right? Or squ air squats. Stimulate, any exercise works, that's what's great. It just has to be high intense. Um, once your heart rate gets shocked and you've now spiked it, what happens is you get into this metabolic and physiological state where if this is, you know, if this is baseline, um, you spike it and then you rest for a short amount of time, spike it again, rest for a short amount of time, spike it again, and you keep doing this, right? We recommend six minutes. So, heck, even three minutes, I promise you. Actually, after your first cycle, it's gonna feel like you guys are all out of breath because you're pushing yourself, right? And you could, so you could have an Olympic athlete down to you know, somebody who's never worked out, and as long as they go through this, they're getting this spike. And I think of it like if you told me to just to sprint across the, the parking lot, my body's gonna go from like, wait a minute, we've just been hanging out to sprint. You know what hormones start to secrete? Testosterone, growth hormone, fat burning hormones start to occur. So that's what we want is we want into a state where the body's saying, I am now ready to burn fat. Now what it does is it quickly uses up your sugar so that when you burn all that out, which happens at the end, like sometimes in here for some people, but hopefully towards the end there, the six minutes, that now your afterburn lasts for up to 36 hours of burning fat. Now, here's why I say this, because what you guys have all been taught, and I've been taught watching my mo mother growing up, was Richard Simmons' um, <laughs> low intensity, long duration. So this is high intensity, short duration. Six minutes, I'm done, very intense. Richard Simmons is, let's dance and clap for 30 minutes, an hour, or get on the treadmill and walk. And so what happens is, you go from baseline to this. And then once you stop walking, you're right back into fat storing, and, and, and that's not what you want. So you want that sort of thing. Does that make sense? And I'll give you an easy example. Um, the Olympics, a sprinter, you, can you guys envision a sprinter's body type? And now picture a marathoner's body type. Completely different, right? Because their styles are completely different. Sprinters look extremely healthy, very tone, very little body fat, great muscles. Marathoners in general, they look sick. They're skinny, they're flabby. Now, Olympic level, they're gonna look a little bit better, but look at any sort of, I mean, again, the long, Richard Simmons for, he just let's go back to him. He never really looked that fit, <laughs> did he? I, I, mean, I remember watching when my mom had to plug in the VHS, I'm like, he doesn't look that fit compared to some of like the, you know, ripped, people that are out there, right? <laughs> Anyways, does that concept make sense? That's the simplest. Now, if you don't exercise at all, I'm not knocking walking. Like if you guys are just like, hey, I'm walking, perfect. That's better than nothing. So I want you just, but know that the, mo the, the best, the way to maximize and dial up your physiological response is that. And it's exciting because you're done quickly. Okay, so that was a simple one. Write down something like you're gonna, so even watch some of Sydney's workouts. She does a lot of that. They're very short, eight minute videos, six minute videos. You know, so the workload's low, um, but it, they're, they're intense. And that's on Wednesdays 
Um, some other tips, take the stairs, park further away. Simple stuff. Just think of movement. That's what you want. You want mobility. You want motion.